story. Sing me. Rhyme. Sing all about what happened once upon a time when I sing a story or I sing a rhyme. It's as though I've heard it for the very first time. Upon a time when I see a story or you see a rhyme, it's as though I've heard it for the very first time. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Harmony, is there anything wrong? I just filled your bowl an hour ago. Yum, I know. And I'm ready for seconds. How about some nice, fresh tuna? Tuna? Yeah. Harmony, I am very busy trying to fix a broken cello. Meow. All right. Maybe I'll try to run to the store as soon as I'm done. Done yet? Belle? Hey, Belle. What is it, Carol? Um, well, it, it's just that we, I mean... I, uh, Louis, Louis and I, we have a bit of a problem. Oh, not another problem. Don't tell me. Does this have anything to do with tuna fish? Tuna? No. It's like this, Belle. We want to croon. We want to hum. We want to serenade the masses. We, we want to sing! Well, then the two of you do have a problem, because the way today is going, I don't know when I'll get around to singing stories. <sighs> no stories? Big problem. Hi, Belle. Oh, hi, Kirsten. Um, can I ask you something? In a minute. Belle, can't you fix that later? I'm sorry, I wish I could, but someone dropped this cello off in front of my door this morning and left a note asking me to try and fix it. Whoever it was wants it back as soon as I can solve the problem. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Problems. I hate problems. You do know that Belle isn't the only one in this shop who knows a thing or three about problems. Well, Big Book, it's just I lost my favorite baseball cap. It was my lucky cap, too. I had it forever. And now I feel really bad. Lucky cap? Lost? Feel bad? <laughs> you know, I recall a story that might help you solve your problem. It's about a whole town who lost something that was very special to them. And they had to find a way to figure out their problem, too. Would you like to hear it? Sure. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a wonderful, magical place where everyone was happy and the birds always sang. Why was this land so special? Because of the beautiful sounds of the magic singing harp. Her voice was so sweet and joyful that it made everyone who heard her song smile. One day, darkness fell over Happy Valley, and the beloved harp was stolen. Without the harp, it seemed all the life drained from the village. Crops withered to dust, water dried up. The entire valley became one sad and barren landscape, with no hope of ever being bright and happy again. Now, living in the valley, there were three poor farmers who had almost nothing to eat. Hunger was all they could think about. Wow, Big Book. Those farmers seem so hungry, my stomach's growling. Well, I'm so glad you've joined us. Well, I heard a story, and I thought I can work on my problem and listen, too. But where are the songs? There's got to be songs. And how do they solve their problem? 
Patience, patience. I'm getting to that. First, we need to know how they got some money to buy food. Ah, uh, they formed a cabaret act? No, indeed. They decided that if they sold their cow, all their hunger problems would be solved. Unfortunately, the cow wasn't sold for money. It was sold for... Beans! What do you mean, beans? Yeah, fellas! I sold the cow for some magic beans! These are not ordinary beans! They're magic beans! If you plant these beans in the light of a full moon, do you know what'll happen? Yes! I got my beans! Oh, no, Donald! I want beans! Hurry! Little did those farmers know that some of the strangest ideas can grow into unexpected solutions. Some simple suggestions seem useless. They strike you as silly at first. Then just when you're certain it's hopeless, they show you next do they know where they are or what about the harp do they find that wait what about their stomachs they must be starved well my dear perhaps if you could just keep your cool a tiny bit we would all find out what happens next <laughs> sorry <laughs> now as i was saying there they were in a strange new land high above the clouds a huge castle stood out <laughs> and they hurried to get inside of course, getting under the big door wasn't as easy as you might think. But they persevered. Uh, yes. Um, they walked softly. Very softly. And then they saw it. <laughs> Finally, their bellies could stop rumbling, for they had found a feast of food right at their fingertips, more or less. Who's there? Who is it? That's the harp! Boy, oh boy. How do you get here? I was kidnapped by that wicked giant. Oh, uh, a giant? 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 I guess that explains why all that food was so big. But at least they weren't hungry anymore. They solved that problem just not when they thought they would. That's right. Sometimes solutions come when you least expect them. 
which gives me hope for the problem I'm having with this cello. I wonder whose clumsy hands broke the neck on this. And I wonder when someone's gonna take care of my problem. Tuna fish! Tuna fish! Tuna fish! 